Hello everybody and welcome back to another RC Cars presentation and today we'll be taking a look at Antonio Bolose Excellente, I think that's how you pronounce his name, but this is one of the Maseratis that appeared at the end of the movie in the Cars 1 movie uh, with the Michael Schumacher Ferrari and um, they were going into Guidos to get uh, new tires and you know, you know it was kind of one of the more funny scenes uh, because Guido and Luigi both kind of like fall over and faint so um, that's basically where this guy appeared along with I think it's Constanza del uh, Corza and of course the Michael Schumacher Ferrari and um, a few things I want to say because you're probably wondering um, why didn't I upload um, Tuesday because I was supposed to it's schedule I upload Saturday Sunday Tuesday and Thursday and um, the reason for not uploading on Tuesday I was super busy I mean some people you know you just gotta take a day I, um, I it was a nice to take a day and um, I, I didn't want to really upload yesterday Wednesday because that'd be out of schedule and um, I just really needed a day to just relax I was busy uh, and um, I'm sorry uh, that I didn't upload, but um, don't worry, everything's all good, at least in my opinion. I think everything's all right. Um, and so yeah, that probably won't happen for a while again, but it might. I'm just saying I'm, gonna, I'm probably gonna be busy next week too. So if I don't get a video out Tuesday, but I'll try to get at least one video out on the week, but um, you know, it'll probably go back to normal the week after next week, just because I've been um, going uh, to a few places, and um, so that's why I've been busy. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know that everybody, I know I've said this in every single one of my suggestion videos, but every single person gets their uh, turn when a review, and uh, uh, don't worry, it will happen. You just I went on vacation, stuff happens. And I do have a lot of suggestions, but um, if you do have any more, please let me know. I will get around to doing it. But just a forewarning, if you do suggest something now, it probably won't come out until May. I'm just saying, that's how many I have right now. And I do a suggestion video every other one of my videos. And if you guys are wondering, this video, uh, can, or Antonio was suggested to me by San1987. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right, but... Uh, I know he's made a few cards videos, so if you can go check him out, um, I'm sure uh, he might comment or he commented on one of my last videos. But that's another thing I wanted to talk about. It, it would really be nice if you guys could acknowledge the fact of me doing a video because uh, it, um, if it's about your suggestion, because what I'm trying to say here is if you suggest something uh, and then you don't like acknowledge that I even did it, it's kind of frustrating to me because it's like, did, did that person even see the video? Does that person even care? But I know most of you guys do, but just so you guys know, I mean, I'm not forcing you to comment, but it'd be not maybe if you just like plus up the comment or something that I put on there because I just want to know you guys saw the video and maybe liked it. I, I don't know, but um, I just want to, you guys to maybe acknowledge that I did the whole video on your re request so that's all I'm really gonna say about that but um, I just would like if you guys can acknowledge that I do the video for you but um, let's get on to Antonio here this is actually the lenticular version here and um, one of the reasons why this came out kind of late but I'm pretty sure it actually came out the same day so I'm not even know why I'm saying that but it is the lenticular version it came out this lenticular version was out in a three pack with um, the Michael Schumacher Ferrari um, lenticular and and the Constanza della Corza and actually recently I um so that's why I was saying that it came out later is because I ordered the non-lenticular version the final lap non-lenticular version um because I don't really like the lenticular version so I decided to order the non-lenticular version and um here we go um this is not really an unboxing video although I want to take them out of the package I do understand this is one of the more harder to acquire final lap collection cars, but I don't care that I'm opening it, and uh, you shouldn't either because, I mean, I got it on Amazon, but I uh, just, <laughs> I know people get a little anxious when I open, like, maybe a Super Chase or something, but, um, don't worry, I mean, it's not really a big deal, it's not yours. I'm not gonna really resell any of this. There's the final collection uh, emblem. And here's some of the other cards that were out in the final collection series. I mean, I'm sure a lot of you guys were probably around during this time, but if you weren't, you know, maybe I could do a video on some of the final lap cards. I mean, that's 
That's suggestion right there. That's suggestion material. One of the more larger suggestion categories, I guess. Not used to open a card from 2010. Please. Here we go. We got, got a corner. Sorry about this. Not gonna cut. I think we can get this open. Here we go. We got it, guys. I think we're good. Let's toss that right on the floor there. All right, let's pop him out. And... Although he is a non-lenticular, I'm not really too much of a big fan of his eyes. I mean, it looks kind of weird, don't you guys think? I mean, he's just got two eyes. It's kind of like mini. And, um... So not really a big fan of the eyes, but it's all right. Much better than the lenticular eyes look, make him look like he has four eyes. So I really do actually like the non-lenticular. But um, as you can see, he is a Maserati. Got the Maserati emblem on the hood there. Or I mean on the grill there, nice little smile. Very nice wheels, got another emblem on the side, which is on both sides, oops, sorry. And then let's check out the back here. As you can see, his license, well, if we get focus in. Focus in, not out. Uh, B9, 5J4, and I'm pretty sure it says above it, uh, Wheel Creek or something, but it's really hard to see, really small. But um, very nice car, I always like the Maseratis, they look amazing in my opinion. And the lenticular version is exactly the same, only of course as the four, the lenticular eyes, I mean I hate those. But um, here's some more of the Maseratis that have been released. I'm pretty sure I have the non-lenticular version of Constanza somewhere just tucked away. But um, he is the same model, only green appeared in the same scene. And um, this is when Mattel was really bad at um, different way, never mind. I take that right back. Uh, those license plates seem very similar, but one number is changed. <laughs> one number is changed. I mean, that's why I thought it was the same, but I, I can't believe they only changed one number there unless something, you know, something weird. But uh, here's another Maserati. These are um, a little bit different grills, as you can see there. Both are Maserati. I'm pretty sure both are the same. Um, body or the because they both have the logos on the side there as you can see if we focus in this is Bindo actually Bindo or something one of the Maseratis in Cars 2 um, Bindo Maserati released in 2012 uh, very nice I really like Bindo one of my favorite actually it might be either the blue one or the green one which is Constanza and then last one which is Carlo Maserati more of a maroon another Cars 2 Maserati Again, same exact thing. Really, the only thing that changes uh, throughout these Maseratis are the expression, color, and license plate. And this guy got the fishbowl license plate. Uh, Acer has fishbowl license plate. Cruz Bissaro, a few other characters from Cars 2 have fishbowl license plate. But, um, so that's pretty much it for, um, Antonio. And, um, one thing I wanted to show you guys before you guys leave. Something to chew on, I guess. Something to chew on, you know, maybe. You guys want something to chew on? All right, here you go then. <laughs> that was kind of weird. I kind of just paused it randomly, but um, another bad order from China. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. It did not show that it was shipped in the um, uh, uh, listing. Kind of unfortunate. Really annoyed at that. Look at that. I mean, you can even still see the flakes of paint in the bag, which I don't want to really move it around much, but there are the still flakes of paint in the bag. I mean, honestly, I've never had so much trouble from ordering from China. By the way, if you're wondering why I ordered that guy, I didn't have the Octane Game Pity without Tool Gun. Um, that was in my Q&A. Watch it, please. And um, uh, so, yeah. Sorry about not uploading before. Don't know order. I don't know who that guy was, but um, I might tell you in one of my future videos unless it gets resolved. But um, I'm very disappointed in that. I was really hoping to get that guy. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Thank you, Son1987, for suggesting, and I hope my review lived up to what you expected it to be. Want to go find some new Disney Store chasers? Check out the Disney Store. They got a new Silver Lightning McQueen. It is the new version of Lightning McQueen with the um, sponsors being the town, um, the businesses in Radio Springs. And a nice patriotic Jeff Corvette. Like him a lot. Um, so that's it for today, guys. I hope you guys do enjoy. I got a very awesome video, in my opinion, coming out. Saturday, and I'll see you guys next time. Hope you guys did enjoy. Goodbye now.